Online anonymity sometimes demands much more than just obfuscating your location and IP address. Some threat models require that you leave no trace of your activity on the device you're using. The problem is that regular operating systems are designed to store troves of sensitive data on the hardware of your machine. Even with full device encryption, memory locks can often easily be recovered by an adversary with physical access to your device. Not everyone has the luxury of physical security, and some people just have to assume that their computer will likely fall into the wrong hands. This is why security experts with strong sense for protecting human rights in the digital world have been working on creating a system that doesn't remember anything about itself. A system that forensically wipes all evidence of its use immediately after a user ends their session. A system that looks exactly the same no matter who uses it or for what purpose. And now such a system has a name, Tails, the Amnesic Incognito Live System. A live system because it's an operating system designed to run off of a USB flash drive instead of being permanently installed on an internal drive. Incognito because its entire traffic is routed through Tor and the default fingerprint of each Tails installation matches perfectly with every other Tails user on the planet. Amnesic means every time you reboot, plug out your USB or shut down, all the information about your session activities is wiped from the USB flash drive as well as from the host memory. This Forensic Erasure leaves no files on the host system whatsoever. Tails is a security application and as such it's not just about the tool itself but also about your operation security. How you obtain, use and maintain Tails for your particular situation can make or break your security. No security tool can do everything for you. If you want to make the most out of Tails, you have to educate yourself about the security precautions to take when obtaining and using Tails and Tori in general. This tutorial will guide you through the official Tails installation process as maintained at the time of making of this video. Use this tutorial as a reference only and always follow the official guidelines for maximum security. The aim of this tutorial is to provide novice users with visual experience of installing and using Tails in order for you to know what to expect when going through the process yourself. If your life depends on strong anonymity and security, you need to acquire education and skills beyond the scope of this video. Consult with a certified or a security professional if you need to. Now let's go over what this Tails tutorial will cover. I will show you how to obtain Tails image alongside different methods of security verification. Choose your own method but don't skip verification completely, otherwise you have to blindly trust your Tails isn't compromised. We'll go over a few important OPSEC points to consider before flashing the image on a USB drive and booting into Tails. So let's begin. The official website for Tails is tails.boum.org. You can access it from Tor browser for additional anonymity when obtaining Tails. What I love about Tails as a project is that it is really approachable to novice users and that's how it should be. Security shouldn't be just the privilege of experts. Journalists, activists and regular non-technical people need anonymity and security too, and that's whom Tails is targeted towards. Click on Get Tails and choose which operating system you'll be installing from. Tails can run on any system, but the installation instructions slightly vary depending on your host OS. I'll choose Linux because that's what I'm using, but instructions for Windows and Mac OS have only minor differences, and I'll point them out throughout this video. Make sure to read the instructions carefully to know what you need for your Tails installation. Grab a USB stick with at least 8GB capacity and continue to the next step. Now you get to choose how you want to download Tails and this might determine the next verification steps. Be aware you should never skip verification and choose at least one of the following methods. Whether you download Tails directly from a mirror link or through BitTorrent, you should use Tails verification utility. This requires that you enable JavaScript, but this method provides a simple cross-platform and user-friendly technique to verify Tails images. The only limitation of JavaScript verification is when facing advanced adversaries. An attacker would have to perform a manual middle attack or compromise Tails website or servers covertly without the Tails project noticing. Additionally to this, you can verify checksum of image files. If you download a Tails image using a mirror link, you'll need to manually check for SHA sums. Linux has SHA verification tool built into the command line, which makes it more secure than obtaining a third-party checksum tool on Windows and Mac. 
The simple command is SHA256SUM followed by a single space and then full name of the download details image file. Make sure your terminal is navigated in the directory of your tails files. The utility will generate a string that has to match perfectly with the one available on the tails website. If you want to checksum on Windows, you can create a checksum file for the tails image using gpg 4 win utility and then comparing the output. An alternative method is to download tails torrent file. It already includes a checksum for the image and your BitTorrent client will automatically verify when the download finishes. The most difficult verification method is to manually verify OpenPGP signatures. If you don't have an advanced knowledge of OpenPGP, this method does not provide more security than the JavaScript verification utility. But if you're running a Debian-based Linux distribution, you can follow the command line installation instructions for Linux, since Debian derivatives ship with trusted OpenPGP keys by default. You can proceed with OpenPGP steps by simply copying the commands from the instructions. The initial three steps are is importing signing keys from Tails and Debian developers. The fourth step checks for verification of the Tails signing key, where you need to look for this specific line in the output. Only then you can verify the Tails signing key with your own key. If you've never used OpenPGP before, you may need to generate your own signing key. The command for this is gpg space double dash gen dash key and then follow the instructions on the screen. If you already download a Tails image, you can skip the first command in the download section and get the signature of the Tails image. In the last step, verify the Tails image is signed by the Tails signing key with the following command. The output you should get looks like this. It should contain the key ID and align with a good signature from Tails developer. It is possible to complete OpenPGP verification without generating your own key, but you will get a warning it's not certified and there is no indication it belongs to the owner. If the Tails image is in any way compromised, the output of the verification will say bad signature and you shouldn't use this image to install Tails. If the verification went through, you are ready to flash Tails on your USB stick. This process is very simple on all platforms. On Linux, you can use the built-in GNOME Disk Utility by choosing Restore Disk Image option for your USB drive. Make sure you select the correct drive because this will erase all of its data. Make sure to maintain backups because you won't be able to recover your data if you make a mistake. On Windows and Mac, you can use the simple eCher utility where you can select the Tails image, your USB drive, and flash. It's simple, but the same precautions apply. Make sure to back up your content because this will erase all the data from your USB stick. After flashing the image, you're ready to boot to Tails for the first time. To boot to Tails, you need to know how to access your machine's boot menu or BIOS settings. This is usually a matter of pressing Escape, F2, F11, or F12. On Windows 10, you can get to the BIOS through update and security settings. If you're not sure, follow the official instructions. Once Tails boots up, select your language, keyboard and formats and start Tails. It should take less than a minute for the desktop to appear. One of the first issues you may encounter is network connectivity. Linux in general is not the best friends with Wi-Fi cards and Tails is no exception. If your Wi-Fi interface is not available at all, use an Ethernet cable or get a working USB Wi-Fi adapter for about $10 to $15. One additional step you can take, but this is entirely optional, is to create an encrypted persistent storage. This is only in case you need to securely store files on your USB drive. One offset can consideration is that this persistent storage will be encrypted but not hidden, meaning an adversary holding your USB drive wouldn't be able to read your data but it would see there is an encrypted partition and might force you to reveal your password by a brute force attack to your knee. To create a persistent storage, choose Applications, Tails, Configure Persistent Volume, make a strong passphrase, verify it, and click Create. Tails only recommends to activate personal data persistence feature for beginners. Additional features can be activated when needed. Once finished, click Save, shut down your computer, and restart from Tails. On the next welcome screen, you'll have an option to unlock your encrypted volume. You'll find your persistent folder in Places, Persistent. Tails comes with a range of useful security tools pre-installed by default. One of them is a metadata removal tool that lets you erase identifiable information from your pictures before you upload them on the internet. 
plenty of Tor users have been identified by this OPSEC mistake, not realizing the metadata of their pictures often contain location and other sensitive information. It is always recommended to use Tor browser with the strongest security settings so that you don't expose yourself to malicious JavaScript or trackers that compromise your anonymity. From Tails, you can create a new Tails installation or manually upgrade the existing one. Always keep your Tails updated to prevent exploits of known vulnerabilities. Each time you reboot Tails, you're starting from scratch. All your files, settings, and data that isn't stored in the persistent storage will be wiped. This isn't the most convenient daily driver, but it definitely ups your base security level significantly. Remember to read the official Tails documentation to understand the scope and limitations of this fantastic tool and enhance your OPSEC when using Tails and Tor in general. If you like reference guides like this one, consider watching my series on security, privacy, and anonymity tutorials. This channel wouldn't exist without your support, so consider becoming a patron or donate anonymously with cryptocurrency. Thank you for watching.